Inside the Huddle, sponsored by Des Moines Orthopedic Surgeons. Coming into tonight's game, the Pleasantville Trojans closed out the regular season on a three game win streak where they outscored their opponents 152 to 35 during that stretch. As they prepared for the first round of the playoffs, they knew it would take their best performance yet to move on to the next round. We had a tough first week and that kind of just gave us a boost for the rest of the season. We all came together afterward and we've all rallied together and been, been there for each other. I think it was a really good growing experience for us. You know, being a really young team, really competitive team, you got to learn how to do those things correctly and what it takes to compete at the varsity level. So I think that really got their attention. I think it really helped dial them in and realize in order to win games at the varsity level, you really got to dial it in and do things a certain way. And I think they've done a great job of responding to that and continuing to find ways to grow every week. Learning from our mistakes and realizing we can make we can get better from that I think uh, it really helped us out going into the playoffs. Well you know when you're playing a team like Regina with as much story tradition as they got and being the number four rated team in the state number two a few weeks ago they're a phenomenal football team so for us it was a matter of believing in ourselves that we're here for a reason too that yes Regina is a very good football team but we're a good football team too and if we go out and do things the right way we can be right there with them at the end and have some fun. And we can't play the name we're gonna play the game that we're gonna play that's exactly how we're gonna do it we come into practice we're like and we're playing anybody else it doesn't matter it doesn't matter who we're playing at all we're just going to continue going as a family continue building together go win this game we're going to go keep going here it is pleasantville hosting regina catholic trailing by three regina in the red zone but braylon bingham comes up with the interception in the red zone that is the nephew of friday night blitz's dave bingham he takes it back to midfield what a play by Bingham. The Trojans take advantage. A scoring drive capped off by J.J. Phillips up the middle for a one-yard score. Pleasantville goes up 7-3. Regina leading now and in the red zone. The ball's on the turf, but it falls forward. Regina recovers it for a touchdown, and they go on to win 32-21. 